everybody. <clears throat> this is Mitch or Malice, whatever you want to call me. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a glowing kill feed effect. This was requested by one of my subscribers. So, uh, hope you like this tutorial. Um, this little effect is, uh, it was created by Obey Rads. And then I found out how to do it before you put a tutorial up. And I put an old tutorial up, but now I do it a different way. And so I'm going to show you how I do it now. So, what the effect is, is right down here in the bottom left, you see that the gun is is glowing. You can, make, you can change the glow color on it. Like, you can have it glowing however you want. I mean, I personally like it to be glowing blue or glowing white, but you can truly have it glowing however you want it. But white looks amazing. Alright, so let's get started. I already have my clip and my color correction. In the description, I'm going to put a link to a RAR file. And it's going to have all my gun pic, all my uh, gun pictures, and it's going to have a notepad file in it that's glowing guns, kill feed scales and rotations, and it's going to have all the rotations and scales for all of the uh, all of the guns that I use, pretty much that I edit with. So first thing you want to do is get your clip ready is you want to go to where the kill feed for the first gun you want to go to where the kill feed stops you know I have to zoom in for this alright and when the kill feed stops right there you want to bring down your gun and you're going to want to you want to drag it down here so over here and then down and then over here like so and you want to go to scale make this negative 26.3 and this 18 then you want to go to your rotation and set it at 1 now you want to drag the gun over the kill feed gun so let's see here you probably I find it easier when full so let's drag this up here about there looks good now you want to go to position and make a keyframe and go back to where the kill feed right before the kill feed came up so right there and you want to drag this down about here let's see how that looks looks really good alright now go to the, the, that keyframe turn your opacity to zero push U to bring up your keyframes and drag it about two fourths the way or two thirds the way down there and drag it up to 100. Now that's just for the first one, first gun. When you get to the second gun, which is right here, you want to go to where the kill feed stops. You want to split this. Actually, you would want to split this before the kill feed starts. So, let's see, kill feed starts there. So, go back, split, bring up your position, keyframe that. You could just click the stopwatch so you can start new keyframes if you want to set it like that. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so after you put your keyframe, 
you want to go to where the keyframe stops again, or the feed stops again, right there. You want to drag this up to where it sits on the gun, like so. And then you want to duplicate this. Now the bottom one, since it's going to be this one right here, you can just get rid of the position, go to the top one, and go to the first position keyframe. Then you can go to your first gun that you had up while ago. Click on opacity and hold control and click, or uh, position, and then hold control and click opacity. Then control C, then click on the bottom intervention one right here and paste. And there you go for that. That doesn't always work perfectly, but it does work pretty well. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Then, what to make it glow, you always want to make sure you have color correction that will complement the glow. Like, that right there looks pretty cool. I do like that, where the guns are kind of discolored. But I have a uh, plug-in. It's called Glow Wing. No, Glow. There it is, Glow Kill Feed. You just Whoops, just drag it on there. And then drag it on top one. And then drag it on the bottom one. Like so. And there you go. You get these glowing kill feeds here. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. I mean, it's tedious, but it, if you, uh, after a while, you can get really good at it, get fast at it, and it's a really nice effect. It's going to suck when it gets overused, which if it, it may already be overused right now, but it's a real nice effect and very noticeable, very subtle yet very noticeable, and very clean. I like it quite a bit. So uh, over here on my left are my. Uh, these are my settings. I mean, if you want, you can pause it right here and not show you my settings. But I'm going to put the plug in or the uh, preset in the WinRAR folder that I'll be showing all that I'll be giving to all of you. So you don't have to you don't have to look at this. But thank you for watching this, everyone. I hope this helped you out. I will. See you guys next Friday. Peace out. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching my video. Uh, if it y'all had time or anything, it'd be nice if y'all could come by my Facebook channel and check me out. I post on here every now and then, and you can request videos and tutorials, and pretty much interact with me, and that would be really cool, because I would like to interact with my subscribers. But uh, thank y'all. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.